goes away. The things I plan to say. Oh, baby. Okay, so these are the books that I made or covered that I was inspired to do from something I saw on Pottery Barn. So I had the books already. These are just some books in my collection. In the Pottery Barn one, I believe they have 10 books and I think I ended up with seven or eight. But I was just playing around with the books and trying to come up with a good configuration. So all I had to buy was some fabric and I found this Waverly fabric at Walmart. It was $2.97 for a yard of fabric. And I did buy two of them because I wasn't sure how many yards of fabric I would need. And basically I just covered the books, you know, like we used to do when we were in school with paper bags. Well, I kind of took that knowledge and put it to use for making some book covers for my books. And it really is not hard to cover books with fabric. In fact, what I did was just put the book down and measure off how much is going to go on the inside of the front and the back cover. And then I just cut out the fabric to kind of go along with that. And then all I had to do was cover the book and secure the cover onto the book itself. And the way I did this, I can actually still enjoy and read these books. It won't interfere with the page turning for sure, but I like it because all of the books are going to look the same now, just like they do in the Pottery Barn decor, but for a lot less money. And that's it, that's all you have to do. And since I tested out my first book covering experience, I decided to go ahead and cut out all of the material for each of the books before I started to cover them. And the more books that you cover, the better you get at it. So don't worry if your first one isn't quite what you were thinking it would be. With practice, you're gonna get really good. You know how I know this? Yeah, I just covered a bunch of books. I've seen those faces, I've heard all the lies, but you ain't gazing on someone in denial, cause you want dollar bills right now, but you gotta work real hard, I know you want it to be easy, so let your guard
And as all of my projects, there is no right or wrong way how to do this. Just keep working at it and practicing and you will get better and better and you will have some very nice covered books just like this when you're finished. So these were the books. This is on my shelf where I wanted them to go, but they were missing something. So I decided to refer back to the picture that I found on Pottery Barn. And here is what they were missing. See that pretty little bow and jute wrapped around it? And do you see the paper wrap colored books from Pottery Barn for $139? Well, I did this for about $6 because I already had everything else. And I'm so happy with how they turned out. I think they look adorable. And you can't even see the titles of the books, no matter what color they were, through the material. So I think this fabric worked really well. And I think the newly covered books add a really nice decorating accent to one of the shelves that I have in the loft area. All right, so that was book covering 101. Be sure to come back on Friday for a brand new video in this series of my Pottery Barn inspired decor. I hope you guys really like it and I'm having a lot of fun being inspired by Pottery Barn.